Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find Tullin here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And we're actually gonna start from the bottom of the mountain where the ladders are, uh, because I would imagine this is probably where most of you that are having problems are getting lost. Now it's quite annoying because as you work your way up this mountain, everyone tends to tell you that Tullin is hiding in a cave somewhere, exploring, finding food, when he's actually on the top of the mountain. So essentially what we wanna do is just work our way to the very top of this mountain, by following the main path. Now the first character you'll encounter will be right there on your left where the fire is. They're just gonna give you a clue on where he's at, even though it's really not much of a clue. Just continue to follow the main path. You don't wanna veer off in any other direction. Uh, they'll say something about a bonfire. I, I spent a lot of time looking around for a bonfire and I ended up getting lost on the mountain. So don't veer off in any direction, just stay straight. When you get up here, it looks like you can turn left or right. You wanna stay to the right and just continue to work your way up. We're almost to the top, and once we get up here, we're going to make a platform to make it through a small cave system. So we'll come right up over here, and you know you're getting close when you see the wood that's on the side of the rocks over here on your right. And then you'll have a character right here on the left, which is gonna be standing right outside of a small cave. So we're gonna make a really long platform here because we need to get across a little bit of water. So we're gonna take three of these planks, and we're just going to attach them together one little piece of advice, don't start building it right next to the character or you'll encounter the problem that I had. And as you can see, he's kind of in the way. So <laughs> start building it next to him uh, so that you don't waste a couple of extra seconds. But we're just going to take three of these and make a long platform and then we'll pick it up and rotate it so that we can actually fit it through the door. You guys can see the cave entrance. Uh, we want to tilt it just a little bit and uh, and we should be able to get it through. No problem. We're gonna go ahead and take this inside. And again, it's not a whole lot of water, so it's really not that big of a deal. If you have a lot of stamina, you might be able to make it across. Um, but we're just gonna put this giant slab in the water here. And you guys can see, we actually have some logs that are connected in the back that we can add to the back side of this. So we'll go ahead and run across. You can pretty much jump in the water. I think you're able to actually climb up that side. I'm not sure, but just put the logs here for fun. You can jump up on them and then jump up on the side. And all we're going to do is go a little ways in here and we're going to use our ascendability to go up. So if you see directly above me, there's a hole that shows kind of the path above us. It doesn't really matter where you're at. Just use it above you somewhere in that area. You'll get into this section with the frog and then we're going to do the exact same thing. We can kind of go into the room where the frog is, use the ascend once again. This one will take a little bit longer. And once you appear at the top, you're going to see this yellow structure on the mountain, which is a good sign. It means you're getting close. He's not actually on that yellow structure. As, uh, as it may appear that way, we want to climb up past that. So we want to go to the very, very top. We can come right over here to these rocks on the left side to climb up. There's a couple spots where you can regain your stamina. Um, and then once you're up here, what I would recommend doing is climbing toward the left. You guys will see kind of how I do it here. So I don't have a whole lot of stamina. So trying to climb up, I end up running low at the last second. So if you go to the left, you'll be able to get up a little bit quicker. And once you're up top, all we're gonna do is walk up this path to the very, very tip top. And you guys will see Tullin just hanging out on the edge here. But this is how to find Tullin here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.